Hello, good people. Thanks for joining me again. My name is Anne, and on my channel, I review foreign international content. I like to say we travel around the world sitting on our couches. How fun is that? And we have conquered that one inch subtitle and we have diversified what we watch. We're learning culture and food. Oh my word. I hope you have your passport. Let's go. Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Anne and on my channel, I review foreign international content. Today, I'm back to review season three of Blood, Blood and Water. I hope you've watched season one and season two. And I have to say off the bat, is it just me or did season three become so serious? Like Blood and Water used to be the show that we watched to see teenage kids in high school, like living their best life. In this season, oh my God, it became so grown up and so serious, so fast. We have murder, we have crime, we got people being kidnapped. I was like, what is going on? I have to say, usually I can binge watch, but season three, I actually had to watch a couple episodes come back. Like it was a lot, it was so much going on. And I just thought it was interesting. I'm like, did we lose our way? Because I think the appeal for blood and water was that, you know, high school life, young, you know, kids making mistakes in love and crime and all that stuff. But this just got so dark. I was like, wow, like they had to grow up real quick and deal with all kinds of crime happening left and right. And some it's people's parents who are doing all this craziness. Oh. It was a lot. I don't know about you. Let me know what you thought down there. But I just thought, wow, season three, we went really, really dark. I really missed this, just the lightheartedness, the parties, the, you know, dress up, be whatever. I mean, they try, they threw in a little bit of that, but I feel like the crimes and trying to get through all that was more than the fun. I feel like there wasn't a good balance. I'm not talking, I'm not saying don't address the, you know, the issues because clearly, there's a lot of family history here with crime involved, but I felt like there could have been a balance of also some lightheartedness of them being teenagers and why we love the show from the beginning. It could be me. I may be wrong, but that's how I felt about season three. Anyway, in season three, we see Poulain, obviously, with her sister, uh, Fikile. Now they know of each other. Even Fikile is now coming to visit the family, almost like trying to rekindle. Now her mother has disappeared, so she's trying to find her mother. Um, we also have Chris who was dating Wendy, but Wendy decided to go to Spain. So they're trying to work out that relationship. And in the middle of all that, we have Poulenc's cousin who shows up. I liked his character and let's just say he's gay and Chris is feeling him. You have to keep watching what happens there. And then obviously based on season two, we saw that uh, Wade um, got together with Poulain, but you know, Carabo in season three is still in there and you have to see how uh, Poulain and Wade navigate their relationship. They really have to like figure out like, you know, are we friends or are we more than friends, right? That's something they have to figure that out. And then it doesn't help that Carabo is in the middle of all that, has always been in the middle of all that. I always felt like there was that love triangle going on. With the three of them and then it was just sad to see Carabo's parents especially the mother who comes in town yikes that's all I'm gonna say if you haven't watched but wow gangster she's definitely gangster so I have to say I don't know season three it felt like yeah like yes there was a little bit of the what's going on in school there was an investigation of the headmistress uh, they sent this person to come and investigate. That was interesting. The character of Tahira obviously has secrets and uh, Reese is in the middle of all that trying to clean up all the mess that she created from previous season. So it was interesting. On the other hand, I have to say it was too, it was dark. It was too dark for me. I'm not saying it was not good, but I have to say it was dark. Season one and season two, I binge watch. It's so good. That made you just binge watch this. 
was heavy it was really heavy and i was a little disappointed that they took that route and went the heavy route i know we needed answers but god there was murders and deaths and kidnappings and oh a lot of crime and it was really i'm sorry but it was really really sad i felt like we should have had a little bit of a balance with that but all in all an excellent franchise as usual all the actors uh, actresses do a fantastic job if they brought season four would i watch yes i would watch season four but i have to say director and producers can we go back to the happy blood and water yes we love the intrigue of who's who's who and all that stuff and that kind of thing but make it a little bit let's go back to lightheartedness and the dating and the teenagers and their kids and high school all that fun that goes with that that would have been more fun to watch because i was like if i want to watch a crime show i don't tune in to blood and water i can go and watch crime show but this for me went a little too dark there wasn't a good balance of you know fun and you know darkness can be there and crimes and stuff but um for high school show we needed to be a little bit more um a little bit more a balance of lightheartedness and um the storyline that was dark so that's just me you know everybody has their own opinion but um but like i said i still love the franchise and if they did season four i'm in i would watch i love all the characters i love how they produce the the show the production the filming all that stuff is really fantastic to watch um always uh, proud of South Africa really pushing filmography and keeping toe to toe with Hollywood love that uh, way, way to go but um, let me know what you thought in the comment section did you feel the same way um, I could be off maybe people saw something else different but that's how I felt with the whole thing um, but once again if you do like my video give me a like subscribe it does help to support my channel I'm currently reviewing Korean drama we're doing Alchemy of Souls part two is out. I'm reviewing that every uh, week. So if you love Korean dramas, please join us. We have fantastic discussions about the show. So um, please feel free to join us and I'll see you next time. Deuces.